three people from different states were planning mass murders at Chicago area synagogues and mosques, all in the name of ISIS. That from the FBI in newly unsealed court documents. NBC News investigative correspondent Tom Winter went through the court documents. Kelly, those new details that you describe being made public today as a result of filings being unsealed in this case in this terror attack and plot that was made by two teenagers, one from the Chicago area, one from Kentucky, and a man from Waterville name identified by the FBI as Xavier Pelkey. It was Pelkey when they searched his home, they found several explosives, three altogether homemade, as well as homemade paintings of the ISIS flag. Uh, included in that search was an effort by the FBI's uh, Boston Joint Terrorism Task Force to take apart those explosives and they found a slew of shrapnel inside. The plot hatched over Instagram and several messaging apps between the trio. The idea was that on their, quote, spring break, the FBI says they were going to travel to Chicago, go to a Shia branch of Islam's mosque, a Shia mosque, and separate the adults from the children and then kill the adults. If they had more time, they say, they were going to move on to a synagogue in the Chicago area. They had no escape plan. According to the FBI, they just assumed that they would be shot and killed by law enforcement in the course of carrying out this attack in the name of ISIS, which, as we know, is commonly associates itself with the Sunni branch of Islam. Uh, Pelkey is being held uh, currently pending trial. The other two juveniles, because they are juveniles, we don't know the status of their case or if, in fact, they are facing charges. Uh, but it's a plot that uncovered guns, uncovered swords and knives, and a plot that appears to now have ended. Kelly? Unnerving. Tom, thanks. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.